Now here's one that's a little bit more difficult, but the same techniques apply. I can do something to the equation as long as I do exactly the same thing to each side. So let's take a look. 6.1x plus 2.82 equals 3.5x plus 34.54. Okay, here's an x here and an x here. And here's just a regular number here, 2.82 and over here. I'm going to start by subtracting 2.82 from each side. Okay, that's going to leave these x terms unchanged. But right here, this 2.82 and the negative 2.82, those add up to zero. So they effectively cancel each other out. That leaves me just with the 6.1x on the left. So I'll write that, 6.1x. Then on the right, I still have this 3.5x. But now I have 34.54 minus 2.82. So let me figure that out. 34.54 minus 2.82. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then I'm going to borrow right here. That 5 is going to become a 15, and the 4 become a, becomes a 3. So 15 minus 8 is 7. 3 minus 2 is 1. I have 31.72. So the right side, 3.5x plus 34.54 minus 2.82. The 3.5x stayed right there. And the 34.54 minus 2.82 is a 31.72. Okay, now let's look at these x terms, the 6.1x and the 3.5x. I'm going to subtract 3.5x from each side. So I have to do that on the right and on the left. Now look right here, the 3.5x and the minus 3.5x, those add up to zero. So those two terms cancel each other out. That leaves me with 31.72 on the right. I'm going to go ahead and write that, 31.72. That's all that's left on the right-hand side. On the left, I have 6.1x minus 3.5x. So I need to subtract. I need to do 6.1 minus 3.5. And let's uh, do 11 minus 5 is 6. And if that's an 11, that's been changed to a 5. And 5 minus 3 is 2. And I have a decimal point right there. So 6.1 minus 3.5 is 2.6, that means that 6.1x minus 3.5x is 2.6x. So now my problem says this, 2.6x equals 31.72. Now look at this 2.6x, that's 2.6 times x. So to get rid of the 2.6, I need to divide. I divide that side by 2.6 because this x was multiplied by 2.6. To get x by itself, which means I need to get rid of the 2.6 which is multiplied to it, I have to divide by 2.6 and those will then cancel out. 2.6 up top and down below cancel out, leaving me with x all by itself on the left. Now on the right, I have 31.72, but if I've divided the left side by 2.6, I also have to divide the right side by 2.6. 31.72 divided by 2.6, and I'll pull up the calculator for that. 31.72 divided by 2.6, and that gives me 12.2, and that is my final answer.